Today we're going to be reacting to the amazing Digital Circus and it was a playlist. I keep doing that. <clears throat> it was uploaded, uploaded, uploaded 22 hours ago. And this is the earliest I've ever been to a video and we're going to react to it. I don't want to waste your time and you know let's if you want to watch the original video go down in the description and you know help yourself and with that said let's start there's also a glitch series I want to watch but I can't really find season one without watching I can't hold it any a whole compilation. Can. We can't die from oxygen deprivation, remember? But it still feels like I'm gonna die. Try not thinking about it. Or you could toughen up. I wanna see what your funny cartoon body does. Hey, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. That's you. Alright. Here I go. <sighs> Alright, we've entered the blue zone. Hey, there's something new. Okay, we're getting red. Oh, orange. Yellow. Green. Whoa, look! Now she's turning blue! She was already blue. <laughs> huh. Guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because something different happens with each person. For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Gangle's mask starts spinning, and Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up and fuck off. What about you? He refuses to show us because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. What do you, the viewers, think it is? Will you stop doing that? Ha! Everybody just standing around when there's adventure to be had. Today's adventure is the mystery of Mildenhall Manor. That's right. This big spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity. It's up to you to solve the house's deep mysteries and capture all the ghouls and activity you can. Because it's hot. Time ever, you can. Can't turn on the fan and mix real We're mess with the recording. I made this adventure really cool and uh, mature just for them. What? The NPCs aren't going to become self-aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh wait, yes I am. <laughs> anyway, everybody into the fractal noise. It's adventuring time. Look at one of Scooby-Doo's mansion. Oh, this place is spooky. I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares. I love horror movies. <laughs> I went on, to the movies with my Fuck. friends and this girl. Hey, be nice to she got scared and she started holding face. my hands. And else. You know. Right, and Does anybody hear that? She asked me why I keep laughing because to me it was funny. Horror movies is always funny to me. And I'll be your guy today. Why won't they go back in? <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why they're not retracting though. That didn't happen for me. Before you continue on your adventure, you have to choose which door you're gonna go through. The door on the left is the normal door. Rated wow for all ages. The door on the right is the really scary door. Rated hot for mature zoobles only. It's up to you to do <laughs> Why the jacks? What? I thought we were supposed to capture all the ghosts. Uh, which door should we choose? Hmm, not sure. Let's try this out. <laughs> Don't worry, Gangle, I'll get it for you! <laughs> oh, that's the scary door. 
Oh, when they said the one with red and wow, that was the um scary door, and the one that was scary is the good door. That the whole time, Zubal. I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. Bubbles' feelings? Enough about Bubbles' feelings. How about your feelings? I... So, what's on your mind, Zubal? I would rather not. <laughs> That's hilarious! Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember because... Ugh, never mind. My mind is a beeswax polished coconut. Nothing ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do to make my adventures more appealing to you? See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. All you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just... Ugh, forget it. You're probably not even listening. Zubal, look at this cool bee I drew. <laughs> he did not hear one thing she said. He just like me. Where are we? Oh, that's no. I wonder what this thing is. My name is Baron Theodore Milton Hall. Hunting has been a hobby as long as I can remember. Although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not if it quite looks dumb. Not quite an animal. Something unholy. Something evil. I took it upon myself to spend every waking moment. I feel like it's going to look dumb. my family from the creature. Hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling. This inescapable dread. I was wrong. You know, I'm starting to think. Did he How even care? Try to find a way back up to the others. Okay, cool. That's great. I love these adventures. We could always ride this thingy up. I like the fact that like, this isn't 3D and it's 2D now. No. Oh, wait. You mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Is this your hand? Uh, uh, that's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matters. Would you stop touching my eye? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> what happened? I just remembered a really funny joke. Uh, you, why did you scream then? Maybe it wasn't actually that funny. Oh, my God. I think... We should hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. What was that? What's what? What? It's probably just magnets. Or a boat. A boat? Or whatever the case, I think we should be completely quiet. I... Okay, yeah, I agree. You know, you're really hit and miss with these things sometimes. I thought he was the coward. What? There's a fly in here. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? Oh, 
But there is one. And gotcha! I think I got him. I can't see my hands. Oh! I'm sorry. Could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. Tommy, I think this might be the creature from the tapes. The whole. My question is, how did he, the man, kill that monster? Like, get it enough to cut off his head. Pennywise, oh shit. This reminds me of Pennywise when he opened his mouth. Amber was mesmerized. He was about to attack Pennywise, then boom. Open his mouth. Yes. Done. to torture my guests any torment i inflict is 100 percent accidental like any good war criminal we weren't even like talking any about good that war i really couldn't give less of a crap about the adventures then what is your problem zubal i'm trying my best to remember but you and my brain won't tell me it's me remember i don't like myself I hate this body. I hate all these stupid removable pieces. I just want to find something that feels good. Oh, yeah. Now I remember why I couldn't remember. It's because that problem is already solved. Simply swap out your undesirable Zubal parts for better ones. I've been trying to find parts I like since the day I got here. So, back to the adventures. Forget it. Forget it? Just forget it. Forget what? Kane. Nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, Zubal! Ragatha's just too nice to say anything. Jax just likes to fight with everybody. Gangle's too shy to speak up. Kinger's insane. And, and Pomni, she looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. Oh, Zubal, Zubal, Zubal. Making adventures is my art. It's all I exist to do. All I'm good at. And, uh... What you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> That'd be... Oh, shit. Uh, whose therapy session is this again? Oh, yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your behavioral issues. I'm gonna show you some ink blots, and you're gonna say the first word that comes to your mind. If she says that again, they might end up dying. Oh god, where are we now? I'm not sure. A cellar of some kind. Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Jumping at every shadow, every noise. I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster. Why did she look at him? Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. Is the if dead? Nothing else. Is the I dead guy the um that took everything from him? Me. Is the dead guy that chess piece guy? Take his gun. Yeah, sounds good to me. Cause the way she look at him and the way he's staring at the tapes. Please don't come alive. It makes me think that okay, I won't. It makes me think that he might so be him. And uh, Let's make them count. guy just saved him, uh, like took his yeah. soul. Stay behind. Oh, it's the body. <laughs> Kinger, I, I think we may have a problem this way too. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. 
Ooh. Ooh. Well, that wasn't so bad. Oh, he cannot die, I forgot. I didn't know that the creature was actually one of God's angels. What? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where uh, my soul resides. I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the hall of the damned. What? And your will be my only means of doing so. Now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? Cause he's not, he's a ready, Because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. He's a ghost, and he tricked them. The thing was an angel, it was trying to stop them from doing something bad, I think. Probably, I don't know. Mm, good tea. Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> if your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. I'll be sure to ask them next time I see him. Thanks again for the tea. I had a really nice time here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit anytime. Definitely. Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones! You've taken the pacifist route, and you should be proud of what good people you are! Unfortunately, we still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave! I wonder how long that'll be. Yes, so they took the pacifist route, really and they're taking the arm with me. We are literally in hell right now! I don't know. Be in hell. How could I not be in literal hell right now? Just try to stay calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape. Hold on. Let me try something. What is that? Hey, there's actually a staircase down there. Could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies. Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, Pommy! How is your wife? What? No. He says something. How is your wife? He, that thing, the demons know something. Just a vessel to be able to leave with. What? Seven years of computer science for this, huh? huh. What? Every day I spend here is one nightmare after the next. I knew it would end up like this. He just wants me to suffer. I really am in hell. Don't say that. You're not in... Well, I, I guess we are technically in... Forget about that. How about we just relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us? <laughs> it was my fault we went down this path, wasn't it? I'm really sorry that why have you been acting so different lately <laughs> i have haven't i i'm normally not too good with memories but being surrounded by darkness always brings me back to a certain time right after my wife had, had abstracted 
I don't recall the exact string of events, but we both. Oh, that's the way the girl said something about his wife. And it was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out, and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. <sighs> she wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time. Oh, that was the other door in the first episode. They show a bunch of doors. No, not the first episode. I think it's the second one. I don't remember. But they show a bunch of doors. The, the two chess pieces. There was another one. Probably a girl version. I guess she does. Abstractly. She somehow got me to like them. It's not the most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. I know how it can feel in this circus. Sometimes it all just feels pointless. Yeah. But it's not. Not if you have people who care about you. Good memories can do a lot. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. You never know when they'll be gone. In this world, the worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. I'm glad you're here with me. You know, I've been thinking about that last tape. He said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. Maybe we can get through if we don't breathe. Oh, that's how she got possessed, right? She was holding my breath. She breathed. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? Uh, if we leave, well, you don't have a mouth, so I don't. You're just gonna go back to being crazy. You're not gonna remember any of this, are you? Don't worry about me. As long as you remember it, things will be okay. You're very strong, Pommy. You probably will still and remember it. Right? You will just have to be in the dark. Just hold on to me. We'll get through it. Together. That way you was acting so weird. You ready? It's because the dark and airy gives him peace. I guess. I don't know what he's breathing for, he does have a mouth. Oh yeah, I forgot. They say he glow, right? On the other one, the... Our hair stands up. The one with the mask is oh, mask. Hey, Are you guys okay? Was it scary? I'm fine. Actually, what happened up here? Uh, don't worry about that. Pommy was very brave. At least I think she was. Were you? Something like that. Hey, Ragatha. Yeah? I just want to say... At least he's cool. Thanks for always being concerned. He's my favorite character now. I, feel I like don't remember his name, but he's my favorite character. I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Oh, thank you, Pommy. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. Well, we care about you. Did you remember to get my comedy mask? <laughs> and, and now I'm, I'm just starting to wonder if the Wild West was even a real direction at all. Whoopsie daisy, looks like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home. Quick, pretend we weren't having a therapy session. Okay. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids! Don't ever call us that again. <laughs> so what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It wasn't that bad, actually. <laughs> I want to know what happened. Did he go crazy when his wife abstracted? Or did he go crazy when... Um before then 
Well, that is the end. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And again, if you want to watch our original video, go down in the description and you know, help yourself. I really enjoyed this episode. It's a horror episode, of course, because it's October. The year, not the year, the month of horror. I love horror things. I love horror movies. Oh, I, and then this month we have it came venom we got venom in about it's coming about the 30 or the 25th we got 20 days uh, 24 days is it 29 i don't know but anyways bye